Hello, my name's Graham, callsign G4VUX, and this is my mini review of the EGV40 CW transceiver kit from QHR Kits. I will include a link to their website in the notes below, and I should point out that I have no connection with this or any other kit supplier. The EGV40 tunes over a 40 kHz section of the 40 meter amateur band. The output power is adjustable to a maximum of 3.5 watts and the receiver is sensitive with good selectivity and low noise. The full specification is detailed in the assembly manual which is available online in PDF format. I chose the basic kit which comprises the PCB and all board mounted components. A case is also available but I decided to make my own from aluminium sheet. So let's take a look at the controls. The front panel controls comprise main tuning, audio gain and fine tuning. On the back I've got RF gain, headphone jack, key jack, DC socket and the antenna socket. This red push button switch activates a crystal oscillator which I use to spot the transceiver onto the QRP center of activity frequency 7030 kHz. This is one of two modifications that I've incorporated into my version of this, um, this kit. Now I'm going to remove the lid so we can take a look at what's happening inside. The PCB measures 100 by 85 millimeters. That's about four by three and a half inches in old money. And there's an excellent grid referenced layout diagram in the assembly manual, which I found very helpful for quick component location. The receiver uses a superhet architecture, which I favor for CW operation, especially with weak signals when the low level of ringing allows improved intelligibility when compared to some DSP radios, which use algorithms tailored for voice reception. I was particularly impressed with the performance of the variable crystal oscillator, the VXO, which is pulled over the full 40 kHz range by this polyvericon tuning capacitor. The transmitter operates in class C with a harmonic filter which maintains spectral purity and a trim pot is used to adjust the output power. I've set this one to deliver 2 watts with an 11.1 volt 3 cell LiPo pack. CW side tone is derived by allowing the receiver to detect the transmitted signal during periods of key down. The side tone volume was adjusted by selecting a resistor from a range of values, but I found the maximum level a little bit too low, so I've added a separate side tone oscillator and coupled it into the audio amplifier. This is the little 7030 spotting oscillator, which I've built onto a piece of perf board. Uh, the length of wire here acts as an antenna, which radiates a couple of milliwatts inside the housing when the button is pressed. So I think now we'll put the lid back on and hook up an aerial to have a look around the band. It's um, Sunday afternoon, bank holiday weekend, and there's a contest on. So most operators are up on 20 meters because it's far better for contesting than, um, than 40. But we'll have a look around and see what we can find. And if I can't find anything, I'll just demonstrate the spotting and side turn. There's someone there contesting, I think. Going quite fast. DM5BB. I think he's just calling for a contact. Oh, he's got one. There you go. So that's a very good... Uh, example of the quality, the audio quality of this lovely little radio. Now I'm just going to show you the the um, spotting facility. So I'm going to press the red button which will activate my little crystal oscillator and then I'll tune around until I find 
my own oscillation. There we go. So I'm now tuned to 7030. And there's no one there. Okay, well look, that's about it. Um, so at this point I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please leave any comments. I'm always happy to receive them, good or bad. I'm quite uh, flexible. And I wish you well. For those who can read Morse code, I'll connect a dummy load and then I'll send 73s to you in CW. Just going to have to pause this for a moment. Cheerio.